Let's see how easy it is to accelerate multimodal inference on Intel Gaudi accelerators using a model from Hugging Face Hub. What breed is the dog? What is the pattern on the woman's clothing? Pretty impressive. This is a blip model, which is a language image model, so it's multimodal. It processes both image and text inputs, which allows it to answer natural language questions about the image. During inference, a visual encoder processes the image and a language encoder processes the question. Then a cross-modal transformer fuses the information from each and a decoder generates the answer. So there's a lot of processing involved, yet we got answers almost instantaneously. And that's because this is running on an Intel Gaudi AI accelerator on Intel Tiber AI Cloud. Intel Gaudi processors are built from the ground up to accelerate Gen AI training and inference. Even though Gaudi 3 is available here, I'm going to use a free learning instance, which gives me access to a Gaudi 2 in a notebook environment. This notebook is part of the Gaudi tutorials repo, so if you don't already have it, just clone the repo, navigate into Gaudi tutorials, PyTorch, Hugging Face Pipelines, and open the visual question answering notebook. The Gaudi packages are already installed, but we also need to install Optimum Habana, which is an open source package co-developed by Intel and Hugging Face to optimize Hugging Face libraries like transformers and diffusers for Intel Gaudi accelerators. I specify version 1.12 because it's been validated with the version of the Gaudi software stack that this instance has. I've already installed it, so now we import our packages, including transformers, and these Gaudi packages. The first one used is adapt transformers to Gaudi. This replaces some transformers methods with equivalent methods optimized for Gaudi. You run this before you import methods from transformers. Here the transformers methods that it's replacing don't actually get imported until the pipeline call later on, so this ordering works. Next, we download an image to query, and here it is. And now we build the pipeline, specifying that it's a visual question answering pipeline. And we specify the model and data type and to use the Gaudi HPU device. And here is that other Gaudi call, and this is optional. The example runs without it. Gaudi accelerators perform best when running on graphs. This function captures a series of operations and builds graphs. For it to work, all the operations have to be running on the HPU and shapes must be static. And if you want to learn more about this, just click on the link to the docs. But now the fun part. I'll just enter a query and run inference. And once the model loads, subsequent inferences are even faster. Yeah, summer makes sense. So you can try this for yourself on any Gaudi instance you have access to, whether on Intel Tiber AI Cloud, Denver DataWorks, IBM Cloud, or on-premise. Just clone the Gaudi Tutorials repo and follow along. And I'll put the link to the repo in the description below.